This short, simple guide to the element phosphorus will provide facts and information for chemistry students who are learning about the periodic table, and in particular, the element phosphorus. Each chemical element is given a unique chemical symbol, which is used all over the world. The chemical symbol for phosphorus is P. The chemical symbols of elements come from their English, Greek, or Latin names. The first letter of a symbol is always a capital letter, and if there are any subsequent letters, they are expressed in lower case. The name phosphorus originates from the Greek words phos, meaning light, and phoros, meaning bearer, which together create the term bringing light. This is because white phosphorus oxidizes spontaneously in air and glows in the dark. All of the chemical elements are given a unique atomic number. The atomic number for phosphorus is 15. Atoms are made up of three kinds of smaller particles, called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atomic number is the number of protons in the atom. The chemical elements of the periodic table are shown in order of atomic number and identified by their symbol. The periodic table is a chart showing the symbols and the atomic numbers of all known elements, such as phosphorus, in one large grid. The chemical elements of the periodic table are placed in order of their atomic numbers. Atomic numbers increase as you move across a row, called a group, or down a column, called a period. The atomic number of phosphorus is 15. The element symbol for phosphorus is P. The element phosphorus was discovered by the alchemist Hedig Brand of Hamburg in 1669 while searching for the Philosopher's Stone. It was prepared from urine and was the first element to be chemically discovered. Owing to its peculiar properties and the secrecy which was maintained about its preparation, it remained a very rare and costly substance until the manufacture of matches brought about its large-scale production. The element phosphorus is one of over 100 different chemical elements that are known to modern chemistry. Each element is first identified at room temperature and pressure as being a solid, liquid, or gas, referred to as states of matter. Phosphorus is a solid at normal room temperature and pressure. Each element has physical properties that can be observed and measured, such as color, density, and odor. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how a substance will react with other substances such as water or oxygen. What is phosphorus? In a general overview of the element, we can at first describe phosphorus as a solid. It exhibits allotropy, meaning it has multiple forms in the same physical state. The main forms of phosphorus are the white, the red, and the black. Phosphorus is an extremely poisonous, waxy substance which does not occur uncombined in nature, but is widely distributed in many minerals. A major source of phosphorus is apatite, which is an impure calcium phosphate mineral found in phosphate rocks. The more specific physical properties of phosphorus can usually be observed using our senses or involve a numerical measurement, such as determining its boiling, freezing, and melting points. Phosphorus has multiple forms in the same physical state. Some of the physical properties of phosphorus are white phosphorus is white, waxy, solid. It gives off a greenish-white glow. It glows in the dark, is spontaneously flammable when exposed to air, and is deadly poison. It does not dissolve well in water. Red phosphorus is a powder which can vary in color from orange to purple due to slight variations in its chemical structure. It does not dissolve in many liquids. Black phosphorus is made under high pressure, looks like graphite powder, and has the ability to conduct electricity. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how phosphorus will react with other substances when it is changed chemically. The chemical properties of phosphorus are White phosphorus exhibits the most activity. Red and black phosphorus are considered more passive in chemical reactions. The oxidation of white phosphorus occurs through a chain reaction. The oxidation of phosphorus is often accompanied by chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence is the emission of light during a chemical reaction that does not produce significant quantities of heat. Phosphorus combines directly with all halogens. When heated with metals, phosphorus forms phosphides. Once the properties of an individual element have been identified, it is placed into a group of elements which have common properties and characteristics. Phosphorus is in the group called the nonmetals. The seven elements classified as nonmetals are located in groups 1, 14, 15, and 16 in the periodic table. The names of the nonmetals are hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, and selenium. The nonmetals are elements that do not look like metals and can be described as brittle solids. They are poor electrical and thermal conductors, but are great insulators. Nonmetallic elements exist at room temperature as gases, such as oxygen, and also as solids, such as carbon. Once the properties of an element have been established, we then have the ability to identify how it can be used. 
A well-known use of red phosphorus is the safety match. The red phosphorus safety matches were invented by fellow Gustav Erich Posch in 1855. The safety aspect was that the match did not contain all the elements for combustion. This was achieved by a chemical reaction between the match head and the striking surface. Other uses of phosphorus include pyrotechnics, incendiary shells and bombs, fertilizers, steel production, pesticides, and detergents. The properties of phosphorus are classified by many other factors, including the melting point, boiling point, atomic mass, and density of the element. All of these precise measurements, together with additional facts and information, can be found on our website. So ends our simple guide to the element phosphorus. Check out our other easy video guides to the elements via our website.